what is up guys this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Arrow OS on this device and this is of course based on Android 11 and if you are noticing the website of the Arrow OS this is how it looks like on the download section or the website's download section here it says Redmi Note 7 Pro because the device I have selected is the Redmi Note 7 Pro and there are plethora of devices that is supported by this Arrow OS and here the maintainer's name is Aftaf Asrafi and he has done a really good job for the Redmi Note 7 Pro at least and I would say here if you can choose the Arrow OS version so simply Arrow OS version 11 is of course based on Android 11 and the Arrow OS version 10 is of course based on Android 10 and here we have the build kind of selection and I have of course selected the official build and this is a nightly build so that's a really great thing and there are two separate builds as you're noticing one is vanilla and one is with the gapps and of course as usual I have flashed the gapps included version and the best thing again about this ROM it receives daily updates or nightly updates so that is the best thing it has been receiving updates almost every day so you can like really be happy if you're someone who loves like software updates this is that kind of ROM which receives updates every day and if you want to flash this ROM on your device you can click on the card right there to see the flashing guide and the recoveries you can use to flash this ROM is the orange fox recovery of course or you can also use the sharp skyhawk recovery which I have made a particular video on separately on the Skyhawk recovery. You can watch that from the card right there. Right now, let me show you the security patch and stuff. And here, if you're noticing, this comes with latest February 5th, 2021 security patch. And if you tap on this Arrow OS version, of course, it shows you this Android 11's logo. And the Arrow OS version is, of course, showing as Android 11. And if you are looking at the stock kernel, the kernel name is Arrow GCEF over here. And the build date is 4th February, 2021 and the build number you can see from here. And this is how the settings panel looks like of this ROM. And if you go into the system, there is a system updater and this is the system updater. That's how it looks like. If you are encrypted, you can use the system updater to update your ROM or you can just check for updates then download the ROM, export that particular update just by tapping on this as you can see. Right now it shows export update. So if you click on the export update after you download that particular update, as you can see, let me actually show you in here, we have this arrow is updates. It will be exported in this particular folder so that you can flash that particular zip while like when you go to the recovery, you can select that zip and you can flash it if you're decrypted or if you're encrypted, again, you can flash it just through this like updater over here, OTA updater. And if you're noticing the build dates, this is the February 4th, 2021 build. And again, there is the February 3rd, 2021 build, which I was on earlier. I was actually on like the January 31st build or something like that. So yeah, I have updated quite a lot. And right now I am on the latest 4th January, 2021 build. And the stock keyboard over here is Gboard on the GApps included build. Let me first quickly show you the home screen. This is how it looks like. And if you go into the settings, this is how it looks like again. And there is the Arrow OS launcher over here as the default launcher. And this launcher is really, really interesting in my opinion, because you can change the icon packs and you can enable the show Google app, show search bar. You can almost enable everything else. And then we also have the disabling option of the suggestions over here, which takes a little bit of time to go into. I don't know why, but yes, you can disable the suggestions and there is a hidden and protected app. So let me actually show you with this, you can lock particular apps. So yeah, or you can also hide that particular app if you want to. So if you click on this eye over here, it will be hidden from the app drawer. And if you tap on this lock icon, it will be locked. So I have also locked the telegram app. I'll show you that later on. But right now, let me show you there is a double tap gesture. So that means there is the double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen. And that is a really amazing feature in my opinion of this arrow OS. And let me actually show you double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen is working fine. Let me unlock the device. And again, as you are noticing, the finger mid scanner is very, very fast. And let me show you with my left hand's index finger. And as you're noticing, finger mid scanner speed is very fast and reliable. No issues whatsoever with the finger mid scanner. It is very, very fast and snappy finger mid scanner. And even with the app locking, as you can see, you can unlock the app pretty easily with the app lock kind of feature. Or you can also use your pin if you want to. Now on the stock launcher again, the widgets are working fine. To the left, we have the Google's Discover page and you can swipe down or I mean swipe up to get the app drawer as you are noticing or you can search for particular apps over here and you can get the quick settings panel by just sliding a finger on the like over here on the home screen sliding down a finger 
on the home screen gets you to the quick settings panel. I will show you the quick setting panel stuff later on but again the widgets are working fine here. The stock camera over here is the Google Camera Go edition and with that you can take basic pictures pretty easily and with the portrait mode and stuff everything is working no issues with that even the front camera is working fine there is this like face beautification kind of mode or smoothing kind of mode you can use that if you want to and with this you can also take videos and then we have also this translate option so pretty cool like camera app over here which is present by default so that is great so this is a really great thing that this rom passes the safety net test right out of the box so that means you can use banking apps like google pay right out of the box of this on this rom you don't need magisk hide or something to use banking apps also the dim info shows as l1 so that means you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p over here no issues whatsoever and also in some roms i would say the ir bluster is crashing the rom and it's rebooting i would say in the android 11 version roms like the evolution xs earlier version not the latest one i haven't tried the latest version but on 5.3 or something i have had really weird issues it was rebooting whenever i'm using an app which is using the ir bluster but right now as you can see you can use the ir bluster pretty easily no issues whatsoever it does not crash the rom and it does not reboot the rom or something the ir bluster is working flawlessly here as you are noticing i guess and if you're worried about the google assistant i would say you can get the google assistant just by sliding a finger over here from these corners of the screen as you are noticing so google assistant works fine or you can say hey google as you can see hey google keyword is working fine over here so no issues with that let me try one more time hey google as you can see again it is working totally fine so google assistant is not a problem over here on this rom now why i love this rom so much let me actually go into the settings and show you that the first thing or the best feature that i would say in this rom is in the display settings so here if you scroll down and go into the lock screen settings in the display setting of course you will find this fingerprint unlock this is the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner yes this feature only works if you are decrypted so you have to keep that in mind if your storage is not decrypted it won't work this is a forced fingerprint by the way with that i do not have to enter pin whenever i reboot my device i just tap the fingerprint scanner and it unlocks a really convenient feature for me at least and inside lock screen we also have this lock screen charging info and stuff display media cover art and there is the screen animation too so you can change those stuff over here and wake screen for notifications option is there then notification on lock screen you can customize that all these things you get over here now in the display settings there are more beautiful features like this dark theme and if you enable dark theme there is a even black and stuff so you get all the color palettes of the background over here and you can make the phone pitch black over here with this like color bucket let me go back we have the night light option and with here we have the turning on option and scheduling option of the night light inside styles and wallpapers let me show you this is the only option where you get the accent colors and stuff so if you want to get the accent colors you have to click on that like plus icon then you go to this choose font you choose any of these fonts over here as you can see five of the fonts are there and plethora of icons are there too you can choose whatever you want then you get a accent color so by default i think this is the color that you get but otherwise you get a lot of accent colors over here like the yellow one and stuff if you're using the dark mode with the yellow it looks really beautiful and there are plethora of accent colors that you can choose from over here you can just tap that and like make a theme and or make a preset i mean so it will appear like this and inside wallpapers we have all these wallpapers over here like the arrow is wallpapers that's it we do not get much wallpapers so you can use separate app for that like the wall p app and stuff which i use and in the grid section we have up to six by six option and in the clocks there is these many lock screen clock presets there is the screen timeout you can set it up to 30 minutes of course and then we have the double tap to wake enable blurs option and if you scroll down we have the font size display size the dpi and there is the weather and status bar items here we have the headset bluetooth etc icons so yeah all those things are there now let me show you the battery settings this is how it looks like and here we have the battery percentage enabling option in the battery settings of course and the battery charging light you can enable that even in do not disturb you can do that and then battery saver and stuff is there we have the battery temperature option and there is the battery manager you can see the screen on time from here and there is the last full charge well i just removed it from charge so it's showing 15 minutes screen on time 
so yeah and you can tap over here to see the full battery usage the battery life should be pretty good you can get up to like seven to eight hours of screen on time easily i guess and the fast charging of 18 watts is working fine again in the sound settings we have this show volume panel on the left side and this is how the volume panel looks like and as you can see you can expand it just like this okay so i just tapped vibrate over here so yeah as you are noticing and right now i have the show volume panel on the left side enabled so that's why it's showing here let me scroll down we have the dial pad tone screen locking sound etc charging sound charging vibration touch vibration options are there the mi audio dirac is present but just not in the sound settings i'll show you that later on inside security we have the fingerprint option but no face unlock as of right now let me go back we have the buttons and gestures so here in the buttons we have the advanced reboot and as you can see right now as i have enabled that if i tap on the restart it shows me the advanced reboot option and right now i can directly reboot the recovery or fast boot or just a hot reboot or just the system reboot then inside power menu actions we have the screenshot screen record etc options then we have the invert layout playback control and stuff let me go into the gestures we have the quickly open camera you can enable that by double pressing the power button you can launch the camera quickly then activate the torch option is there so you can use this long press power button to toggle torch then inside gesture navigation we have this like settings and you can in increase the gesture bar length as i did as you were noticing the pill bar is quite long right now you can also use two and three button navigation if you want to then we have the swipe to take screenshot and of course this feature works flawlessly no issues you can share edit or delete them from here let me go back we have the power menu again and double tap to sleep on the status bar again is there now inside violet parts we have a lot of things like the display color calibration or the kcl customization that is just amazing and we have the fps info overlay and here we have the enable usb fast charging with a usb 3.0 port and there is the mi audio dirac and as you can see you can choose between these many audio presets there is a choose a preset option too so yeah the mi audio dirac should be working fine the sound output via the headphone jack or bluetooth as well is amazing no issues whatsoever with that now again let me show you the quick setting panel over here we have the reboot toggle so that's a really amazing feature and there is a like android 11 screen recorder with that you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time so that's great and also we have this fps info overlay which means while gaming you can see the fps over here as you are noticing on the top it shows the fps while whenever you are gaming you can enable that and it will show the gaming fps on the screen and if you want to see the benchmarks here are the n220 geekbench scores of this rom well, I would say this is one of the best ROMs for the Redmi Note 7 Pro in my opinion at least because it has like a lot of features and yes, it does not have some features like which I use as you can see the swipe to adjust brightness on the status bar is not there or the brightness gesture over here on the status bar is just not there. So I miss that but I would any day take that always unlock with the Fingerbit scanner option over that so there is the double tap to sleep again on the like home screen anywhere there is a double tap to sleep on the status bar too and there is like that always unlock with the fingerprint and there is like the double tap to wake and stuff everything is working fine and by the way this is how the lock screen looks like there is also the temperature showing up you can customize that even so, and the google assistant again is working fine with the keyword so that makes this rom a really interesting like rom in my opinion because the ir bluster is working super fine the dear info stays l1 the safety net works right out of the box so this makes the rom a really great option again for the redmi note 7 pro let me know in the comments what do you guys think give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your friends if they have a redmi note 7 pro and if you if they wanna like have a look on this custom rom the airways the latest airways and this rom also receives updates almost every day so these things makes this rom really different or even better with like when compared to other custom roms in my personal opinion so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now